Here in Missouri, the temperatures have officially dropped to feel more like winter time. So let me show you how I keep the animals warmer during these colder temps. With the pigs, their body weight is what keeps them warm. So as long as they have plenty of food and in their shelter, I load it up with tons of straw. And if it's a windy evening, then I go ahead and close them in within their shelter, which is plenty big, lots of cozy room for them to cuddle in. If the cold temps get to be too extreme, I do move the pigs into the barn. So occasionally you'll see them in a barn stall, but that shelter right there is plenty warm and cozy for them. It's more or less a convenience for me just to have them in the barn during those extreme temperatures. Water buckets do get frozen this time of year. Just based on the amount of ice in these buckets, you can tell it's not that cold, but cold enough just to constantly be refilling them anytime they do ice over and making sure they have access to fresh water. Now, whenever it gets really cold around here, these buckets will freeze all the way through. And in those cases, I always have buckets empty on hand. So then I fill up the empty water buckets and I go ahead and take those totally solid ice buckets into the house to thaw out. Um, and then I just rotate that process later on. Keep in mind that just like people, the animals adapt to their environment just as well. So you can see that a lot of our animals have already grown a really thick winter coat for the season. Star's got her thick fluffy coat on. Even Rip is getting a little shaggier. And the goats are getting extra fluffy this time of year too. This is actually one of the reasons you won't find me putting coats on goats because it hinders that fur growth to get thicker and warmer throughout the season. So it's really important to not do that in the beginning of the winter. Now, if the temperatures were ever really extreme, I would make sure that everybody just kind of stays in the barn stall away from any winter wind. I will put a sweater on a little baby goat that's born in the middle of winter just to make sure that it is extra warm. And those are the cases that we do use the heat lamps to make sure everybody is warm and safe in the barn. I know heat lamps are a touchy subject, we actually use the Premier One heat lamps. We feel like they're a safer option if you do have to use them, but in general, we don't typically use them on our farm. To give you a little perspective of our chicken coop, this is not your average chicken coop. It is really large, as you can tell. I know this is not some cute chicken coop you see on Pinterest, but this outbuilding that we turned into our coop is actually really wonderful in the winter time because we load it up with bedding. It is large enough for all of our birds to fit comfortably in here away from those extreme temps and you know, it works. And it keeps everybody pretty happy, wouldn't you say? Look, they don't even wanna be in here. As you'll see in the upcoming months in my videos, you'll see how much the animals do like to go out and about in the winter time. If they did not like the cold temps, they would be stuck in the barn, huddled up. And you'll even see the goats do that on a snowy day. They may not like the precipitation that much. Regarding the food for all the animals, I do increase their grain intake because it helps bring up their metabolism, which in turn brings up their body temperature. So that's always a good thing. And of course, we always are providing fresh hay for them to eat, especially when things start really dying off around here in the fields. We want them to have plenty to eat, keep their weight on, and keep their metabolism up. Well, Boyd Crowder, you have no problem keeping your winter weight on all year round, do you? Oh, you don't want to talk about it? Winter chores typically do take me a lot longer between breaking ice buckets, making sure everybody has enough food and is warm and has the fresh bedding, but it's all worth it to keep our animals safe and healthy through the winter.